Well, this is a Heathkit communications receiver, model AR-2. It was given to me by a friend of mine, uh, Rick W5RH. I've had it about six months, hadn't really taken a look at it yet. Um, I do have the, the builder's manual here, and so um, that should help a whole bunch. It's pretty dirty right now. I'm going to take the, uh, the unit, the chassis out of the case, out of the cabinet, and um, check the tubes and kind of start looking at it overall. I think I looked at this once before, but I don't, really don't remember. Anyway, uh, it should be interesting to get in there and, and see if I can get it working again. Well, this is the chassis uh, out of the cabinet. It's very dirty. Uh, as you can see, it's just a lot of dirt in here. This must have been sitting around for a really long time. Doesn't look like anything's missing. Um, There's a tuning eye tube here. It looks like it's still intact. I need to pull all the tubes out and check them, clean them, check them, clean the tube sockets. I'm concerned that this transformer here um, might not be any good, although I don't see why it wouldn't be. This radio is sitting somewhere for a long time. The speaker's cracked. I have to be really careful of the speaker here. This uh, this crack could cause some trouble. I don't want to have to replace the speaker if I can help it. Underneath, it's the uh, same as always. A lot of electrolytic capacitors, wax capacitors, that are just ready to fall apart. So if I decide to go forward with this radio, that they're going to have to be changed. These old uh, capacitors here, old style, um, I'll have to get the chart out and read them to see what the values are. Those have to be changed. So it looks like overall there's some work to be done here. First thing I'm going to do is clean it up and uh, plug it into the, the uh, Variac and the isolation transformer and um, ease the power on and see if it does anything besides just smoke up. So, I'll go ahead and clean it first, check the tubes, and then get to that. I'm using my, uh, I'm using my Heathkit tube checker. It's model TC3, and it works pretty good. Um, I only paid about 50 bucks for it, I think, on eBay, or if, if even that much. It does the job. Uh, this tube here, this metal tube, metal covered tube, it's the only one I didn't think was going to check out right. And so... Uh, when I checked it the first time, it showed bad, but I don't think I let it heat up long enough. Got it up there now, and I'm going to check it right now. And as you can see, it's getting about 75%. I'll check it for shorts. And again, it's about 75%. So it's a good tube. I, I'm happy to see that. The only tube in the radio that hasn't really checked out well, I think, is this one right here. I think it's at 50%. And still, it's usable at 50%. So... um just to get the radio going and see what it sounds like and if it's worthwhile I'll look through my supply or, or, or see if I can buy another tube. Well before getting too far into this radio um, this switch right here is frozen, frozen up really bad badly and uh, it won't move at all so I'm gonna try Rick, uh, Richard McWhorter's trick um, All-American 5 radio uh, his trick on putting WD-40 in it and letting it sit for a few days. Um, I think that's about all I can do right now anyway. I wanted to check the transformer, but with that switch not working, um, I'm not going to get anywhere on it anyway, so I'll go ahead and put the WD-40 in and see what happens. Well, I put some WD-40 on this uh, switch and wor worked it back and forth, exercised it a little bit, and it's fine. It turns just perfectly smoothly now. So, looks like the WD-40 actually does work. Now to get in here and trace through and see if I can find the on-off switch so I can check this transformer. Uh, what I've got here is a setup where I use a, a um, isolation transformer right here. And it's hooked into a variac, a variable AC. What this allows me to do is start from 0 volts and gradually increase up to um, 150 volts, I think. Yeah, it'll go up to 150 volts. And so what I did is I've got it hooked, and then, of course, this is a voltmeter, just so I can keep track. So I've got this radio plugged into this system here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the tra power transformer. 
I've hooked up a jumper wire so you'll be able to see I won't have to hold it on there. But I should be able to get 350 volts out of this pin on the rectifier socket, uh, the socket for the rectifier tube. And so um, what I'll do is I'll gradually increase the voltage. I can do this with two hands here. And uh, I should be able to get 350 volts as it comes up. I have to turn the radio on here, okay, on the on and off switch. And now, I uh, hope you can see that. Let me get a little more light on it, maybe. And as I increase the voltage, it starts to come up. I'm going to watch over here on my uh, voltmeter. There's 50 volts. and 50 volts, I've got 175 coming out of the transformer. So I'm going to increase it right up to... I've got... Uh, I've got it right there at about 120 volts. And at 120 volts, I'm getting 371. So I'm probably a little high there. Drop it down a little bit. And that's just about right. I'm getting about 358 volts. Uh, my my um, voltmeter here is probably not exactly right. And so that's close enough. I've already checked the other pin that I should be getting that voltage on. And I'm also getting it there. So it looks like the power transformer is good. Uh, the rectifier tube is good. I only need one tube. I ordered it on eBay this afternoon. It's a 12 uh, V6A, I believe. And um, since the power transformer is good, the rest of it should all fall into place. I think this radio is probably salvageable. And so I'm going to go ahead and get on it. I got a lot of uh, capacitors here to change. Go ahead and turn this off. Let's turn the voltage off on that. And also shut the switch off here. Um, these switches all loosen up pretty well using WD-40. And uh, this one especially, this is the one that was frozen solid. And it works fine now. But anyway, I need to change all these capacitors. They're all falling apart. They're exploding. And uh, I'm going to have to get a list of those. And, but I think the radio can probably be saved. It's be a good project.